Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and in this video we are discussing a really very important notification which is coming from Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission. So Public Service Commission Tamil Nadu se ek bohat important notification release hua hai which is released on the date of 27th April 2023. Still you can apply for this application which is for Junior Scientific Officer. Wait a minute which is for junior scientific officer in Tamil Nadu forensic science subordinate services okay so forensic science subordinate services may we have vacancies in the post of junior scientific officer okay and examination will be based on computer based test so aapko ek exam dena padega and after that you will be posted in the field of forensic science so what else uh what else is given in the application form let's see so applications are invited from eligible candidates only through online mode so applications are for self-up online application file kar sakte hai aap online hi isse apply kar sakte hai okay so let's see further important details here pe kuch warnings likhi hui hai ki aapko cheating nahi karni hai application mein jo bhi photographs hai certificates hai ये सारी चीजें मैंडेटरी है आपको देनी होगी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ओके देन ओके सो आपको अप्लाई करने से पहले यू हैव टू रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ इन दी वेबसाइट ऑफ तमिलनाडु पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन सो आपको रजिस्ट्रेशन करने के लिए वन फिफ्टी रुपीज पे करने पड़ेंगे दिस इज जस्ट फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन ये आपने एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म फिल नहीं किया है आपको इनकी वेबसाइट पर रजिस्टर करना होगा एंड वन फिफ्टी रुपीज आपको पे करने होंगे अब ये जो रजिस्ट्रेशन है ये फाइव ईयर्स के लिए वैलिड होगा इनकी वेबसाइट में इसके बाद अगर आप चाहे तो इसे रिन्यू कर सकते हैं अगर नहीं करना है तो नहीं भी कर सकते दिस इज फॉर फाइव ईयर्स अब आपने रजिस्ट्रेशन कर लिया दिस इज वन टाइम रजिस्ट्रेशन एक बार रजिस्ट्रेशन करने के बाद यू जस्ट have to renew it okay रजिस्ट्रेशन के बाद ही आप एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म फिल कर सकते हैं अब हम फोकस करेंगे वेकेंसीज पे कि व्हाट आर द टाइप ऑफ वेकेंसीज एंड कौन कौन से डिपार्टमेंट में द डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स वेयर वी हैव वेकेंसीज इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस लेबोरेटरी तो नेम क्या है पोस्ट नेम है जूनियर साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर जूनियर साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस नेम ऑफ सर्विसेज क्या है तमिलनाडु फॉरेंसिक साइंस सब सर्विसेज ओके नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज क्या है थर्टी वन नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज है पे स्केल क्या है पे स्केल है थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड रुपीज से वन लैख थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड रुपीज आपका पे स्केल रहने वाला है सो इट विल बी दी सैलरी नेक्स्ट वी हैव ग्रुप एंड नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज सो ह्योर वी हैव फोर ग्रुप्स फर्स्ट इज केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी फिजिक्स फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री इन दी डिविजन ऑफ कंप्यूटर फॉरेंसिक साइंस ओके सो इन कंप्यूटर फॉरेंसिक साइंस फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री वी हैव फोर वेकेंसीज इन फिजिक्स वी हैव थ्री इन बायोलॉजी वी हैव फोर एंड इन केमिस्ट्री वी हैव ट्वेंटी वेकेंसीज सो दीज आर दी डिविजन एंड कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज अवेलेबल through this examination here we have number of vacancies distribution on the basis of different different categories like general and yahan pe abbreviations diye hue hain this is the abbreviation aap apne uh, number of post ke according jaise ki general category gd means general term isme five vacancies hain then we have gd g p s t m iska bhi abbreviation ka full form aapko kahin na kahin dekhne ko milega and here we have डिफरेंट एब्रीविएशन जो आप ये देख के नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज के अगेंस्ट फिल कर सकते हैं सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन इज दिस सो एप्लीकेशन सो एप्लीकेशन कैन बी फाइल्ड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री से आप एप्लीकेशन क्या कर सकते हैं फाइल कर सकते हैं राइट right? इसके अलावा आप कब तक अप्लाई कर सकते हैं तो ट्वेंटी सिक्स मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो यू हैव डेज ऑलमोस्ट यू हैव फिफ्टीन डेज टू अप्लाई ठीक है यू हैव फिफ्टीन डेज टू अप्लाई एप्लीकेशन जो फॉर्म फिल कर दिए जाएंगे उसके बाद इफ यू हैव एनी इश्यूज सो यू कैन री करेक्टेड इसके अलावा डेट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट होगा यू विल बी हैविंग कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट द क्वेश्चन पेपर विल हैव टू सेक्शन ओके पेपर टू ओके द क्वेश्चन पेपर विल हैव टू पेपर्स पेपर वन एंड पेपर टू पेपर टू विल हैव टू सेक्शंस पार्ट ए पार्ट बी पार्ट ए विल बी तमिल एलिजिबिलिटी टेस्ट एंड देन वी हैव पार्ट बी जनरल स्टडीज सो दिस पॉइंट मेकिंग इट टेक्स इट क्लियर दैट तमिल इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट हियर इफ यू नो तमिल हाउ टू रीड हाउ टू राइट दैन यू कैन 
like uh, apply for this if you are someone who don't know tamil who don't have any knowledge or limited knowledge in tamil then they will not be able to i think apply for this post then we have paper 1 this is subjective paper pg degree standard ka paper hone wala hai post graduation if you have pg in forensic science if you have pg fs then you can apply in this okay so paper 1 will happen on 23rd july 23rd july 2023 23rd july 2023 okay when 9:30 am to 12:30 pm and then we have paper 2 23rd july 2023 at 2:30 pm to 2:30 pm so this will be in the morning morning shift and this will be in the afternoon shift okay so on the same day in two shifts you will be able to give this ex examination then qualification really very important okay so qualification is really very important and here let's see the age structure if you come from a special category minimum age is 18 years and there is no maximum age limit but if you come from the other category then 18 years is the minimum age and maximum age limit is 32 years now let's see you can just go through all these information from here let's see the educational qualification so if you have msc in forensic science degree and a degree in subject with the group as shown in the explanation below which he and she can be appointed okay then msc degree in the subject of of in the subject for the group as shown in the explanation below to which he and she is appointed provided that other things being equal prefer preference shall be given to the person who holds the degree in msc forensic science okay preference kisko milegi preference will be given to msc forensic science students and other students which is given here all the other students like zoology and physical anthropology students can give here we have list of students which here we have list of students who all can give the examination like botany zoology biochemistry microbiology biotechnology and genetics and preference kinko di jayegi forensic science students ko preference di jayegi then we have chemistry chemistry explosives narcotics toxicology prohibition and excise here we have again the number of uh, subjects like chemistry organic and organic physical analytical polymer applied environmental toxicology then we have chemistry again all these subjects biochemistry environmental chemistry etc then in case of physics physics student msc in physics can apply and then we have computer forensic science or chemistry computer science and physics these students are eligible please go through the notes like the individuals who possess msc degree in computer science must have acquired basic degree in physics and chemistry as a major subject so if you have msc computer science then your bsc must contain physics and chemistry subject okay the individual who possess msc degree in environmental toxicology must acquire a basic degree with chemistry as a major subject for the appointment of the chemistry or prohibition or excise or explosive or narc narcotic division so these are the minimum qualifications so if you have msc degree in other subjects you must have these important subjects in your bsc like physics chemistry etc here we have other degree holders like physics chemistry forensic science with basic degree in physics chemistry all the forensic science students you must have physics and chemistry plain physics and chemistry in your curriculum that only then only you'll be able to apply for this here we have again some important information like post graduation degree, degree qualification prescribed for this post should have been obtained by passing the required qualification in order of studies like ssc lc hsc and its equivalent ug degree pg degree which is recognized from an institution and under section 25 of tamil nadu government servants act okay 2016 so these are some important elements just go through it and you need to have knowledge in tamil and then you have to pass or you have to give a physical fitness certificate okay then here fee you have to give 150 rupees for site registration and 150 rupees for applications total you have to spend 300 rupees which is amazing okay then we have examination fee concession so all these categories student have some sort of uh, concession like for scs we have full concession full exemption 
so you don't don't have to give any fee then we have sts there is no fee okay for most for classes three fee chances ex servicemen two fee chances and then again we have like other people or widow individuals they have full exemptions okay mode of payment can be it can be done through net banking credit card debit card etc and yes these are important things to discuss here we have different important here we have important information like how to give the examination scheme of examination we will discuss these we will discuss the scheme of examination in the upcoming video so stay tuned stay connected thank you so much for watching this video if you are eligible and if you are fulfilling all these important elements so you must apply for this application you must apply for this post after examination you just get the posting there is no interview or any other thing it will be direct posting after examination on the basis of your results so don't miss this chance very amazing opportunity wishing you all the best for this examination okay in the next class we will see the exam um, scheme and in the next video we will discuss the syllabus for this examination okay so see you guys in the next video till then take care bye